Today we are putting rear subframe into my E36 Touring. What's up guys, my name is Kamil, this is Gorilla Project Car. Behind me, a 1997 BMW E36 Touring. The problem that I have that is that my rear subframe is pretty rusted and I really want to change it because I don't feel safe driving the car. This is my spare subframe, it's from my friend's 328i. The difference between 328i subframe and my uh, 316i subframe is that mine has a lot of rust. This one doesn't look perfect, but it's in very good condition. It's just surface rust. To be honest, I bought myself my own uh, whole rear suspension, but I gave it to my friend. He refurbished it and put it on his car. Then this is what's left and he gave it to me. Uh, that was the original plan that I had for the same part, but yeah, it, it, it just changed. Now, as you can see, I even washed this car so it looks better on video, but it, it didn't work that well, so uh, pardon me. Um, the workshop is a mess. I really don't have time to work in here too much, but we're gonna get it done, so let's start. Okay, car is up in the air. I gave it a shake. Remember to always do that because you would definitely rather drop your car off the jack stands and destroy it, which you can fix, than have it falling on your face and dying. Then you cannot even finish what you are, were trying to do. So if you look under the car, right here, there's a diff and on the front, right here, we have a diff bolt that needs to be unbolted. But before we do that, whew, there's um, what is it, axle that we need to take uh, this connect from the diff and the drive shaft, R drive shaft right here. Boom. So there's quite a few bolts to get the diff out. But then after the diff is uh, taken out from the car, it's like four more bolts that hold the suspension to the subframe. And then it's like another four bolts to take the subframe out. I think this here is a shock. I will disconnect it as well. That way I have a little bit more movement on the arms. It, it should make it a tiny bit easier. If you ever wondered if you can change the diff in the E36 without taking the drive shafts out of the car like completely, yes, obviously. Uh, we could put a new diff into the car right now, but it's not the goal for today. Know what? Fuck it. Okay, I just found all the bushings being bad. If the cars will stay here for 
longer and I won't take it home today, I might as well replace the whole suspension. So pff, let's let's just do it. How to do a suspension swap on E36? <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed I broke a tool. Holy fuck. Yep. I guess I won't be using that anymore. Okay. So, what I did. I started disassembling everything, so I took out the upper uh, control arms. Now, this this is where the spring goes, just like so. Um, this is lowering spring from some coilovers I don't know the brand of, and this is the uh, lift kit for the E36 uh, that I have. The bushing here is in. It's it's just shot so bad. I mean. It's beyond repair, so I think I will reuse the other part of the suspension that I have. It's going to be a bit longer project than I anticipated, unfortunately, and we'll see what we will end up with. I also took out the sway bar um, bushings, very bad as well. One broke, the other one is still attached, but the bushing here, I mean, every bushing in this car is needs to be replaced to be honest and i wasn't planning on doing that because i really want to finish astra and then start driving astra take care of touring but uh it was just too dangerous to keep driving the car so i had to prioritize change plans yeah old cars but the parts are cheap How? Oh, this bitch. Fuck, that's my cue. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. It's out. I barely got it in time. Um, I was hoping to put the new one back in. Uh, by now But it's like Im impossible. So let's quickly uh, Take a look at both of them compare them and then you'll see why I needed to replace this This is the one that we are putting in the bushes are not perfect. I know that but um, As you will see in a second they are not that bad. This is the whole image, right? Looks fine. Now look here. What the hell is this? It's like, look, there's there's a hole inside where it shouldn't be. See, here and here. Now, this part uh, right here, this part right here is like, I can move it with my hands. And here, it's a solid piece of steel. Now, the bushings, yeah, like I said, this one is not perfect. It's definitely splitting. But this but but this one, I mean, what the hell? What the hell? Now, going to this one, it's tiny bit better, but still probably if I hammer it, it will break. Um, now here, as you can see, I I can move this barely because it's a thick piece of steel but I can still move it um, and this part right here completely gone like nothing compared to replacement one it's there here look compared to this on the other side it's better I have to get on the train and I have to go home. I wanted to make uh, one video about this. I will consider to making it 
into two parts because it's so much work you have no idea one thing i gotta say is that the bolts i mean each and every one let go nothing snapped nothing broke bmw for the win so next time i come here i will try to disassemble the rest of the suspension and put a replacement one in the car so the plan is to put this new subframe into the car and then try to unbolt our um, drive shafts. Done. I made the decision I'm gonna take trailing arms out of the car. We got it out, but there's another issue, which is the brake, handbrake line is stuck and cracked and I have to replace it as well. It's getting to the point where I wish I didn't even touch it, but the car had issues, it had to be done. It was unsafe to drive as it was before I started. So even though it's not gonna be what I want to do, like big improvement, it's gonna be improvement over what we had. Uh, third time that I'm in a workshop to work on the rigid suspension of the Touring. It's taking me way too much time, so I'm gonna skip talking and let's get to work. So this is the best looking bolt out of all three that were holding the trailing arm. I'm gonna use them to bolt the suspension into the car right now because I know I won't be able to finish today. But to be honest, I'm gonna order new bolts because those are way too damaged. On one side we have our new suspension assembled. Now I'm gonna take care of the other side without camera because it's the same thing and it's just delaying some time and it's very narrow there. Uh, after which I am going to put the drive shafts in after extracting them from the old suspension. Okay, I'm back a week later. I bought a lot of parts, some tools, and today we're gonna try to use them and almost finish the car.
<laughs> okay, one bearing is out of the hub, which is uh, kind of a good thing. I, it's the first time I did it with like this tool, this type of tools. Um, this is a lot worse than this. But overall combined, both tools uh, were useful, so I would recommend you to get both of them. Maybe other bearings that are not huge as this. Um, the sledgehammer is better, sledge, no, slide hammer is better for them. But uh, the, the set that I got for the multiple tools, uh, multi yeah, multiple this sizes of plates and such is good because I can not only use it like this, I can only use my hydraulic press uh, anytime in the future that I'm gonna need it. Now I'm gonna take a scotch uh clean this, and then we can put a new bearing inside, which is awesome. I will also replace the dust shield because I bought new ones. Um, these are not that bad, but they cut, they are cut, and Let's be honest, I plan to rebuild the whole car, but I plan to do it, I plan to start this rebuild in November last year, and we are in March, this is, it's March right now, so it's possible that I'm gonna do other things before that, and I don't want to get hurt with having this cut. Our bearing is perfect, so it's time to do the other side, which I will not record. I'm back again, hopefully for the last time when working on this project. And um, let's get right to it. We have a drive shaft to put in, um, a diff and handbrake discs and calipers and then wheels, obviously. So should be doable today and then we're gonna do more talking or or not then we probably will end this episode and start a new one if there's time it's a boy the interesting thing about changing the rear handbrake system is I'm going, I, I had an aftermarket um, something, I don't know what it's called, it's like an adjustment, automatic adjuster or something, and I'm going with OEM, which is a lot more expensive, but just see the sizes, they are uh, very different, and it's because uh, using this proved to be difficult, there's very little space on, in a drum, it's a drum disc setup, uh, there's very little space and it's hard to adjust it. With this it's gonna be a lot easier, so yeah, OEM for the win. And it's already pre-greased, so there's no need to do anything about it. Beautiful! <laughs> Can you hear that? Shit, I look like shit. Can you hear that? Fuck, it sounds like the end of the world.
Ooh. Doesn't look bad though. But it's raining pretty bad. Yeah. I have a leaking roof in here, so it's gonna be wet. Like, for example, here, you can see the droplets. I mean, look, look here, look. Chop, chop. All right, let's continue. It's time to put the diff in, but last time I did an oil change, uh, I think two people in the comments mentioned that it's not how you do the oil change because I didn't drain all the fluid out of the diff and I know that. That's why I called the video ghetto oil change. It was a um, bad example of, oil, of diff oil change because the diff was tilted and some of the oil stayed inside but it's it was the only thing i could do and i didn't want to miss the video i know i'm saying that after missing like two weeks of videos with this car uh, well it wasn't as i planned but now i can change the oil in the diff again and i'm gonna do that this time i'm draining everything out of there and let's just show you as a proof that I did. Now the draining plug is lower than the whole diff and now the whole fluid will go out of there. I would put brake cleaner inside uh, to like clean everything, but I'm not gonna do that. I, I don't care as much. Beautiful. Few comments before we finish. Uh, one, the car seems to be higher, like lifted. It's probably because the suspension needs to settle down and it will be lower, but this is like exactly the height I want to have in this car. The right height, I love it. I know it's gonna go lower, but yeah, such that's, that's life. Another thing, my alignment is super out of place. Both wheels are turned inwards, so they are um, towed in. It seems like this is over, so let's take the car for a quick spin um, and test drive it. Mm, look at that! Come on, I know what you all think. Oh, I wish I had M43 too. I'm stuck with some M50 or from M52 or M54 or stupid shit. Oh. This image screams power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Neutral. What the hell? What is this thing? Um, can anybody tell me what that is? Holy shit, I was not doing anything to the car. I just work on the rear suspension and that, I, know, I don't know, it's like... Is that like uh, some check engine light? This blue arrow? Like, what does that do? Shit, I hope the engine will start though. What the hell is this? What the hell? Okay. Coolant check. Something's broken. Very broken. 
I don't know what. Right, but let's take the car for a test drive. She's so beautiful. Kichurka. What do you want to say to camera? Hey, Pinkna. Hey, Pinkna. You push off. Hodge pink now. Hey, Hodge, Hodge, Hodge. You are the door for them. Oh, Zayada, Dobra Kitchen. The car drove straight actually felt pretty stable um, it's it's still I, I would love to have a uh, different dampers and springs because it feels like very it's like it's swimming um, but other than that it's alive it survived so I think it's oh, I'm gonna go back to workshop recheck every bolt that I touched and then um, check if the engine is leaking coolant and if it's all fine i'm gonna take it home for a test drive a bit longer one um and then see on monday i will come back and start working on the engine to get rid of all the leaks that i have and there's quite a few so yeah <sighs> gotta go um thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one stay safe yeah bye